Fragrance connoisseurs, let's go. Would you like a bowl of soupe de jour? No, I'll pass, but I'll take Tom Ford's beau de jour. And that's beau de jour eau de parfum. What is this? This is an amazing, and you know what? This is one of my all time favorite aromatic fruge fragrances. If I had to choose one of five aromatic fruges, this is gonna be in that one of five. This will be in those five. This will be there. Check out the bottle of this thing. I love the fucking bottle. Look at it, it's vintage. It looks great. It's got a silver cap. It's heavy. You could kill somebody in the library and instead of using the candlestick, it's a great one. Was this reformulated? Maybe it was. This was dropped in 2020. It's not in the private line, it's in the new line. But I'll tell you what, this bad boy smells badass. Ah, you know what? Let's check out the notes in this dapper dude. Notes and Tom Ford's Beau de Jour. Ah, two doses of lavender, oak moss, rosemary, mint, basil, geranium, patchouli, and amber, but not your mother's amber, a home brewed amber. This is an absolutely great barbershop style fragrance. You get lavender, you get lavender, you get oak moss, mint, rosemary, basil, geranium. Let's do a spray. Oh, right away, right away, you smell like a sweaty old man. I, you know, this is classic. You get that nostalgic vibe. You've smelled this before, but you haven't smelled it this good. This might give you old school grandpa vibes. To me, it personally does, but I love that. I love old school barbershop. You get spiciness from geranium that's almost rose-like. You get mint in this. You get the oak moss. This is a very rich, elegant, lathering shaving cream smell. I absolutely love it. You know, if you don't know, aromatic fruges, fruges are my favorite style of fragrance. And like I said, I would choose this if I could only choose five aromatic fruges of all time. One of my favorite things about this specific fragrance is the longevity and the performance. The performance is amazing. The longevity is amazing. You can do two sprays of this. It's going to last you all day. You're going to smell this and it's going to project all day. It's great. You know, every time I wear it, my girl says I smell like dirt. And I'm like, you know what? It's not dirt. It's the oak moss you're smelling and it smells great. You know what this smells like to me? Imagine if you were deep in the forest and you put dirt dirt all over you and then you had a very sophisticated vintage 1800s barber come out, douse you in shaving cream, give you a dapper shave and a haircut. That's what this smells like. That's the vibe that this brings. You know what else is great? The price of this isn't too bad compared to the other Tom Ford fragrances, but the performance and the projection are there. This is the 1.7 ounce. You can pick this up for around $100 right now. In the larger bottle, the 3.4 ounce goes for about $150, which once again, isn't too bad. I know it's a lot of money for some people, but just get the smaller size. Or I'm gonna leave some links below and you can check it out at Scent Split. You know, that's where I buy all my samples. Get a sample of this if you like barbershop, if you like the smell of shaving cream and dapper shit. I don't think you're gonna be disappointed with this, but let's talk about something. Let's talk about a fragrance that I think rivals this. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. This is my number two choice for aromatic fruges of all time. And I've smelled a lot and there are some great ones that are more sophisticated, but there's one fragrance that ties with this for me. And I don't know which one's better, but I'm gonna show you what it is. Here it is. That fragrance is Sartorio by Penhaligans. Now check this out. I did a video review of Sartorio. I'll put it up there if you want to check that out. But you know what? I think I might edge Sartorio a little bit better. It might edge it out. This has a, a fantastic note of honey in here and a soft leather. It's really great. If you haven't smelled Sartorio, check that out. But this is my number two. This is stronger, a little bit more beast mode. I think the projection and the longevity is better on this, but don't tell anybody. You know what I really do? I'll layer both of them. One on this side, one on this side. This side's Dapper King, this side's Badass Prince. You know, you can't lose, it's a win-win. You know what? I love this fragrance. This is what champions are made of. This literally smells like I hopped into a fucking time machine and went back to the Wild West days and literally got just completely lathered in shaving cream and had some dude pay money to get my throat cut. Check this out. This is Tom Ford's Beau de Jour, not to be confused with Soupe de Jour. If you're a fan of aromatic fruge fragrances, you'll probably love this or you'll already have this bad boy. Oh, you know what it's time for? It's time for fragrance of the week. And this week, I got a banger. This is an early early 80s. This is an original 1984 bottle. This is O Sauvage Extreme and this smells badass. It hasn't turned. It smells great. Oh, that strong musky bergamot note in this. Bergamot. Bergamot? How do you say it? Bergamot? We'll say bergamot. The bergamot note in here is fantastic. This is strong, fresh, so citrus. This is a badass. Fragrance of the week. 1984 O Sauvage Extreme by Dior.